last time we stopped at we finished the section of non-returning today we are going to do, continue with second last section of this chapter the arahant removing the residual conceit i am on one occasion, a number of elder monks were dwelling at Kosambi in Kosita's park. Now on that occasion, the venerable Kemaka was living at Jujube Tree Park, sick, afflicted, gravely ill. Then, in the evening, those elder monks emerged from seclusion and addressed to Venerable Dasaka thus, Come, friend Dasaka, approach the monk Kemaka and say to him, The elders say to you, friend Kemaka, We hope that you are bearing up, friend. We hope that you are getting better. We hope that your painful feelings are subsiding and not increasing, and the, the subsiding, not the increase, is to be discerned. Yes, friends, the Venerable Dasaka replied. And he approached the Venerable Kemaka and delivered his message. Okay, so they request Dasaka to deliver the message to the monk Kemaka. And these are the message. Sister Saikyang, would you like to continue? The Vrembo Kemaka answered, I am not bearing up, friend. I am not getting better. Strong, painful feelings are increasing in me, not subsiding. And their increase, not their subsiding, is to be discerned. Then, the Vrembo Dasaka approached the elder monks and reported what the Venerable Kemaka had said. They told him, Come, friend, Dasaka. Approach the monk Kemaka and say to him, The elders say to you, friend Kemaka, these five aggregates subject to clinging have been spoken of by the Blessed One. That is, form, feeling, perception, volitional formations, and consciousness. Does the Venerable Kemaka regard anything as self or as belonging to self among these five aggregates subject to clinging? Yes, friends, the Venerable Dasaka replied. And he approached the Venerable Kemaka and delivered his message. The Venerable Kemaka replied, These five aggregates subject to clinging have been spoken of by the Blessed One, that is, form, feeling, perception, volitional formations, and consciousness. Among these five aggregates subject to clinging, I do not regard anything as self or as belonging to self. Then, the Venerable Dasaka approached the elder monks and reported what the Venerable Kemaka had said. They replied, Come, friend Dasaka, approach the monk Kimaka and say to him, If the venerable Kimaka does not regard anything among these five aggregates as self or as belonging to self, then he is an arahant, one whose pains are destroyed. Yes, friends, the venerable Dasaka replied, and he approached the venerable Kimaka and delivered his message. Okay. Thanks, Sister Second. Thank you. Okay, so after delivering the message, Venerable Kamaka replied, long story short, Venerable Kamaka is dying. And then, yeah, this went back and forth. <laughs> Dasaka being the messenger. Go to the elders and then deliver the message. Then what's the reply? <laughs> and then go back goes back to the elders. So, why not just the elders go directly to Kemaka? 
probably some mobility issue, possibly. Okay, so these are the main questions. Does the Fenable Kamaka regard anything as self among these five aggregates subject to clinging? The Fenable Kamaka replied. Among these five aggregates subject to clinging, I do not regard anything as self or as belonging to self. Then the elder said, no, if you don't regard anything as self, then you are an Arahan whose taints are destroyed. Footnotes number 34. In declaring that he does not recognize a self or the belongings of a self among the five aggregates, Kamaka has implicitly declared that he has attained at least the level of a stream enterer. But the other monks did not realize that all the noble persons share this understanding and assumed this was the unique realization of the Arahant. Thus, they misinterpreted Hemaka's statement as insinuating that he had attained Arahantship. So in this case, in this sutta, Okay. Uh, this is talking about the elders. Bhikkhu Bodhi said that, well, if you don't regard anything as self, then you have abandoned identity view. If you have abandoned identity view, then it only implies that you are stream enterer than about, not necessarily an arahant. So in this case, the elders are mistaken. Misinterpreted the Venerable Kamaka statement. Is the item? Would you like to continue? The Venerable Kemaka replied, These five aggregates subject to clinging have been spoken of by the Blessed One, that is, form, feeling, perception, volitional formations, and consciousness. I do not regard anything among these five aggregates subject to clinging as self or as belonging to self, yet I am not an Arahan one whose taints are destroyed. Friends, the notion, I am has not yet vanished in me in relation to these five aggregates subject to clinging, but I do not regard anything among them as this I am. Then the Venerable Dasaka approached the elder monks and reported what the Venerable Kemaka had said. They replied, Come, friend Dasaka, Approach the monk Kemaka and say to him, The elders say to you, Friend Kemaka, Friend Kemaka, when you speak of this I am, what is it that you speak of as I am? Do you speak of form as I am? Or do you speak of I am apart from form? Do you speak of feeling, of perception, of volitional formations, of consciousness, as I am? Or do you speak as I am apart from consciousness? When you speak of this, I am. Friend, Kemaka, what is it that you speak of as I am? Yes, friends. The Venerable Dasaka replied, and he approached the Venerable Kemaka and delivered his speech. Enough, friend, Dasaka. When keep running back and forth, bring me my staff friend. I will go to the elders monks myself. Then the Venerable Kemaka, leaning on his staff, approached the elder monks, exchanged greetings with, him, with them and sat down to one side. The elder monks then said to him, Friend Kemaka, when you speak of this I am, what is it that you speak of as I am? Friends, I do not speak of form as I am, nor do I speak of I am apart from form. I do not speak of feeling as I am, nor, up, nor of perception as I am, nor of volitional formation as I am, nor of consciousness as I am, nor do I speak as do I speak of I am apart from consciousness. Friends, 
Although the notion I am has not vanished in me in relation to these five aggregates subject to clinging, still I do not regard anything among them as this I am. Okay, thanks for so, that. Thanks for let me check quickly. Okay, four pages. Okay, so continuing from the uh, the lines before, the Venerable Kamaka does not regret the five aggregates itself. Yet, I am not an Arahan, one whose stains are destroyed. So this is the clarification from the Venerable. Why? Why is he, is he not an Arahan yet? The notion I am has not yet vanished in me in relation to these five aggregates are subject to clinging. But I do not regard anything among them as this I am. Footnote number 35. Okay, a very long footnote. Although all three editions of Samyutta Nikaya that I consulted, BEZE and EE, and both editions of SPK, BE and Z, read Asmiti Adi Gatang, I suspect this is an archive corruption that has gained currency. I propose reading Ask Me T Awi Gatang. Awi instead of Adi. The passage clarifies an essential difference between the trainee, Seka, and the Arahant. While the Seka has eliminated identity field and thus no longer identifies any of the five aggregates as a self. He has not yet eradicated ignorance, which sustains a residual conceit and desire I am. Anusaha Gato Asmiti Mano Asmiti Chando in relation to the five aggregates. The Arahant, in contrast, has eradicated ignorance the root of all misconceptions and thus no longer entertains any ideas of I and mine. The other elders apparently had not yet attained any stage of awakening and thus did not understand this difference, but the Venerable Kemaka must have been at least a stream enterer. Some commentators say he was a non-returner and thus knew that the elimination of identity field does not completely remove the sense of personal identity. Even for the non-returner, an order of subjectivity based on the five aggregates still lingers over his experience. So this will not explain the difference between identity view and a residual conceit. I am. Long story short, identity view, you eradicate it during uh, after you attain a, a stream enterer, and the conceit and desire I am is eradicated at the Arahant level. And if you are still confused, you can also go back again to the introduction. It, it, it was explained uh, quite extensively. Yeah. So the going forth goes on again. Yeah? And then the elders ask questions. Speak of this I am. What do you think of this speak I am? Finally, <laughs> the Federal Kemaka fed up. You're not friend, that's like, uh, why you keep running back and forth? Uh, the one I mentioned. Yeah? Bring me my stuff. So there was mobility issue, of course, because he was dying. Bring me my stuff, friend. I'll go to the elder monks myself. <laughs> Maybe both have mobility issue. The elder monks because they are already old as well. 
But Fenerbahce Kemaka decided, no, no, I'm the one who should approach them. So he took his stuff and then go over. Okay, the question continues. Um, asking about this uh, residual and concede I am. Then I will continue. We have a little bit of time. Suppose, friends, there is the scent of a blue, red, a white lotus, would one be speaking rightly if one would say the scent belongs to the petals or the scent belongs to the stalk or the scent belongs to the pistils? No, friends. And how, friends, should one answer if one is to answer rightly? Answering rightly, friend, one should answer the scent belongs to the flower. The scent belongs to the whole flower instead of the petals, instead of the stalk, instead of the pistils. So too, friends, I do not speak of form as I am, nor do I speak of I am apart from form. I do not speak of feeling as I am, nor of perception as I am, nor of volitional formations as I am, nor of consciousness as I am, nor do I speak of I am apart from consciousness. Friends, although the notion I am has not yet vanished in me in relation to this five aggregate subject of clinging, still I do not regard anything among them as this I am. Friends, even though a noble disciple has abandoned the five lower fetters, still in relation to the five aggregate subject of clinging, Three lingers in him, a residual conceit, I am. A desire, I am. An underlying tendency, I am, that has not yet been uprooted. Sometime later, he dwells contemplating rise and fall in the five aggregates, subject to clinging. Such is form, such is origin, such is passing away. Such is feeling, such is perception, such are volitional formations, such is consciousness, such is origin, such is passing away. As he dwells, such contemplating rise and fall in the five aggregate subject of clinging, the residual conceit I am, the desire I am, the underlying tendency I am that had not yet been uprooted. This comes to be uprooted. Okay, Sister Saikim, would you like to continue? Suppose, friends, a cloth has become soiled and stained, and its owners give it to a laundry man. The laundry man would score it evenly with cleaning salt, lye, or cow dung, and rinse it in clean water. Even though that cloth would become pure and clean, it would still retain a residual smell of cleaning salt, lye, or cow dung that had not yet vanished. The laundry man would then give it back to the owners. The owners would put it in a sweet scented chest, and the residual smell of cleaning salt, lye, or cow dung that had not yet vanished would vanish. So too, friends. Even though a noble disciple has abandoned the five lower fetters, still, in relation to the five aggregates subject to clinging, there lingers in him a residual conceit, I am, a desire, I am, an underlying tendency, I am, that has not yet been uprooted. As he dwells thus contemplating rise and fall in the five aggregates subject to clinging, the residual conceit I am, the desire I am, the underlying tendency I am that had not yet been uprooted, this comes to be uprooted. Okay. When this was said, the elder monk said to Venerable Kemaka, we did not ask our questions in order to trouble the Venerable Kemaka, but we thought that 
the Venerable Kemaka would be capable of explaining, teaching, proclaiming, establishing, disclosing, analyzing, and elucidating the Blessed One's teaching in detail. And the Venerable Kemaka has explained, taught, proclaimed, established, disclosed, analyzed, and elucidated the Blessed One's teaching in detail. Thus, the elder monks were elated and delighted in the Venerable Kimaka's statement. And while this discourse was being spoken, the minds of 60 elder monks and of the Venerable Kimaka were liberated from the taints of by non-clinging. From the taints by non-clinging. Samyutta Nikaya 2289. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay, thanks, Sister Saikyang. I think there's one for notes that I haven't opened up. 36. SPK, the commentary, the woodlings' mental process is like the soil cloth. The tree contemplation of impermanence, suffering, and non self are like the tree cleansers. The mental process of the non-returner is like the cloth has been washed with the tree cleansers. The defilements to be eradicated by the path of arahanship are like the residual smell of the cleansers. The knowledge of the path of arahanship is like the sweetly scented chest and the destruction of all defilements by that path is like the vanishing of the residual smell of the cleansers from the cloth after it has been placed in the chest. Hmm. But one thing that I don't really get is like, let's say, people during that time, they wash it with cleaning salt, lye, that one is fine, but cow dung, they use cow dung to wash <laughs> your laundry. That one, I'm not sure. Probably it was the detergent formula during that time. <laughs> I hope my detergent does not contain cow dung. <laughs> okay. okay. So because of Venerable Kemaka talking to the elder monk directly, in the end, all 60 of them are liberated. And plus, Venerable Kemaka, liberated from the taints by non clinging. With that, we have finished reading this, the first sutta of the second last section. Any questions or comments? If not, I'll do the dedication. Yen Xiao San Zhang Zhu Fan Nao. Yen De Zhe Hui Zhen Ming Liao. We we meet again, may we be guided by the Buddha, Dharma, and the Sangha. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Have a non-clinging Saturday ahead. Thanks everyone, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.